everyone, I'm going to be making a dreamsicle smoothie. Hold on. I'm going to be making a dreamsicle smoothie. It will consist of just a few ingredients and some of them are optional and I'll let you know which ones are optional just in case you don't have all the ingredients in your house. Now when I was growing up, I loved the Dreamsicle ice cream bars, so I decided since I had some tangerines laying around the house, I was going to make some Dreamsicle. I've got about three cups. You don't have to use all of them, but I'm going to use a pretty good amount of them. So I'm just going to use probably two handfuls, two tablespoons of yogurt, and you'll want about a big glop of it. That, that's about two tablespoons. Next, I'm going to be using a little bit of orange juice. Now, the way you pour this, if you want to measure it by, if you want to measure it by shots, you just count one Mississippi. Okay? So you would. Okay, so I'm going to use three shots of orange juice. So you go one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. So that's equivalent to three shots. Next, you'll want to use the milk. I'm going to be using three shots, so you'll go one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. You don't have to use yogurt and you don't have to use milk. You can use just the ice cream or just the yogurt or just the milk. I'm going to be using all three. I'm going to be using two big spoonfuls of ice cream. And I'm using Mayfield ice cream. It's the Neapolitan, but I'm only using the vanilla. So that way, it will give it a dreamy, sickly flavor. And there's two. Next, I'm going to be using a little bit of vanilla ester. I'm going to be using just a drop. You don't need too much. You just want a little bit. Ooh, there we go. Just enough, and you would be surprised, but it does make a difference. I'm going to push cream. Grab a glass, pour it in, top it off with some whipped cream, and garnish it with a few tangerines. Okay. And a nice yellow straw to go with it. And there you go. Enjoy. Till next time. Bye.